like, do it like Can't nobody do it like Love like, do it like Hey guys, it's Shavri Chevy, and welcome to a PvP Tips and Tricks video. So I made one oh, um, a couple months ago, maybe two or three, and I feel like it didn't wasn't that good. Um, I didn't talk as much, I didn't explain it, mainly because I was starting as a YouTuber. So I'm making this improved one for you guys, and hopefully it can help you out in some way. Because I learned quite a lot about PvP over the months, and hopefully... I can use that to help you guys. Okay, so first I think we should talk about texture packs. So in order to get like, you don't need a texture pack, but let's just say it helps you in the long run. So if you were playing factions or you were playing something and then you get a fire aspect sword or you're in lava, whatever, let's just break the blocks under. S say you want to go under, well, okay. Usually the fire would be um like here. I'll show you. I'll show you guys the difference. So resource packs and default. So this is what default looks like. You know, so much uglier. Holy crap! I use faithful blocks by the way in my pack. As you see, look how uh, I think it was better if I had the blocks under it. Oh, and I just ruined the lava. All right, whatever. So as you see, the fire goes about halfway through my screen, so it's harder to see. But if I use a PvP texture pack or you know my texture pack, um, the fire it only goes. Come on, load, load, please. It only goes like it's just enough to see. It's good and it's pretty transparent. It looks a lot better than default fire. Mm -hmm. So I recommend that a PvP texture pack. And not only because of that, but um, I can now show you. So I'm going to get a wooden sword. So put that in the first slot. And I'll explain to you why. Um, so, oh, is my particles on? Particles, video. Mm. I'll put all. As you, Okay, so you can see it. Um, what I have in my text track is the particles are pokeballs or the the critical so having a good texture pack is good because um let's turn, let's turn up our sound or like two or five would be good but um you want a good texture pack that has like particles like custom particles so i know that i get i'm getting critical when i see pokeballs flying out and that that is another reason because that's when you know you're getting good hits on them and that if you don't see it then you know you need to try to get it and also your particles have to at least be on decrease to see it um, okay so put that back whoa where'd it go yo i don't know where my did i drop it or something huh i'm not exactly sure but, um, let me go to game mode zero, see if that helps with anything. Uh, oh yeah. So, sometimes if you have a PvP texture pack, PvP, I said too fast, then this GUI will be, um, transparent so you can see when someone's coming. Now, I don't have that because, one, I can usually see when someone's coming anyways. Two, uh, I plan, oh wait, I need to explain the settings soon. Two, because, um, I like how this design looks, but with transparent, you can see through, you can see when someone's coming up. And that is good. And also, I like this way better than just the default GUI. But uh, I guess I can explain the settings now. So, what settings I play Oh, crap. What settings I play on? These are, this is one of the important ones. Field of view. So, this is what dirty field of view looks like. Like, holy crap, this looks disgusting. If you play on this, I give you props because this is terrible. Like, how would you play like this? I don't think anyone plays like that. But this is... Normal. Now, I named it Noob because I'm a noob. This is what probably everyone played like when they first started Minecraft. You know, it looks pretty... It looks way better than 30, obviously. But, um... What I have it on is 100. But this is... 
just make sure you guys are not playing on normal. Um, what is good is I like to play on 100 because whenever you get speed, so let's quickly find game mode 1. Let's get some speed pots. Speed. Uh, I want the super speed one. So say you get speed 2. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you're running, right? It looks pretty normal. You can PvP easy. This is what it looks like with Quake Pro. It's pretty freaking hard to play. Oh. Here, let me find another speed pot, because I'm pretty sure there's one a lot faster. This one. No? I don't know, but there's like, when you play in Quake Pro, sometimes speed looks freaking hard, and it's really hard PvP with Quake Pro. So I used to play in Quake Pro, but, um, I decided to just lower down to 100, and it helps. So around 90 to, you know, 100 is a good range. And field of view helps because, um, so let's just look right here. You can see that grass block right there, and you can see the sunset. Alright, let's place another grass block right there. So you can see two, let's put it over here actually. You can see that grass block and that grass block. And if you decrease, so say you're playing at normal, you cannot see the grass blocks anymore, right? Field of view basically lets you see a lot more, which is good because you want to make sure you can see a lot of people, as po as much people as possible. And Quake Pro helps you see a lot, like if I was to change the Quake Pro I could probably see I could almost see that, the diorite, uh, thing I made. But I still like 100 because it's a lot easier to hit people in my opinion. So field of view makes you see more people, which is good for PvE when you need to see, um, which direction people are coming from. Alright, so, with the field of view down, um, I plan fancy. <coughs> and the reason for that is because the leaves the leaves. Now sometimes there is chests hidden in the leaves in Hunger Games which is why I play on Fancy and also it has this really cool big net thing. So as you see this is what it looks like on Fast. Fancy. You can see the Fancy yeah. You can see the big net blur or like around the corners there's like a little black uh, blur type of thing which is pretty I like how it looks honestly. That is one reason why oh like fancy. But you guys do not need to play and plus um yeah uh, when I play in one point eight my FPS goes really high so I can actually put a bunch of settings I like. So for PvP I V boss helps FPS I'm pretty sure. V sync locks it at sixty because if you're experienced screen tear on a hunt on like a Let's say you get 60 FPS and then, or like you get, ugh, it's kind of hard to explain. There's a 60 hertz monitor, 120 hertz, and 144 hertz monitor. And let's just say you experience um, screen tear. Screen tear is when it's like, you know, there's like a weird tear. You can search it up. I can't really explain how it looks like. And uh, you want to lock it at 60 so you don't get it. Well, V-Sync helps with that. And alternate blocks, I'm not sure what it does, but I have it on. Um, bobbing. Oh yeah, this is one thing. So as you see, my hand is moving. And it is moving with that. Basically that is what bobbing is. So if I get a sword and I start running, you know, I can see it moving. But with bobbing off, you rarely see any, like, good PvPers play with it on. Because, well, in my opinion, I think the sword kind of sways weird. And it would be a lot better with bobbing off it. I don't know if it actually helps, but I like it better off anyways. I used to play with it on. So, um, smooth lighting. This is what smooth lighting. So, it looks a lot uglier, in my opinion, with it off. But if you get really bad FPS and have it off, have fan fast, obviously. So, GUI scale. This is large and this is auto. Just look how freaking. Like, game mode zero. Look at that. So if you're a super fear, just imagine if you play on large and you have to refill. It would be like, holy crap, it would be terrible. But um, this is what large, I recommend, <coughs> is personal preference really. Don't play on small, by the way, like holy crap. Can you imagine? 
That's freaking just terrible. Ugh. Okay, so I play on normal. I used to play on auto. Uh, or large, I mean. Uh, because, you know, I wasn't... I had I played on my laptop screen, basically. But since I changed to a monitor, I play on normal now, and it looks better. So, I recommend changing it to normal if you are a soup peep here, or, um... Or anything. If you're a Hunger Games player, any type of peep here, I recommend you play on normal. But, really, it's kind of your preference. But if you are going to become a soup peep here, you gotta play on normal. Because you c or you're gonna have to have a really high DPI, and I'll talk about DPI very soon. So clouds, I absolutely hate how clouds look like. Um, plus Optifine is not out yet for 1.8, so it sucks. That uh, particles, I think I got all those settings down. Uh, is there any other settings? Controls. Um, okay, so your sprint, your sprint. Make sure you guys do not have the sprint as the W key, double tapping the W key, because you cannot hold it, well, what if you need a sprint, you know, you gotta have a s default sprint button, so if you don't have the mouse um, key, like on your mouse you don't have two extra buttons or anything, then I recommend you have it, your sprint key as um, F or something, like my F is F5, because I cannot, I don't want to reach F5. So I have F as F5, which is pretty neat. You gotta have F5, guys, because say you wanna make sure no one's coming up behind you, you can check. Or if you're getting chased in Hunger Games, you can just keep checking like that, and it's really useful. So make sure F5 is really easy to reach. Okay, so this this is all my um, settings. I didn't really change anything, excuse me, except for the sprint key and F5 key so yeah make sure you guys sprint key is something really easy to access alright next um, is there anything I don't know if there's any more settings I need to go over not exactly sure um no I don't think so oh yeah I plan 95 sensitivity hopefully you guys know what sensitivity is but sensitivity is how fast you know your character can turn I play in 95 because now I can explain what DPI is. DPI stands for dot dots per inch. So um, let's just change back to game on one. Dots per inch. If you if you bought a gaming mouse, then you can your mouse most likely has a DPI setting. I play on 1400 DPI with 100. I mean 95 sensitivity. DPI is basically how fast your mouse can move across the screen. So I play in a like if I didn't have a good DPI, if I ha if I had a crappy mouse, then I would play on probably like holy Jesus sensitivity. But with my DPI, this is what it looks like. If I lower down my DPI though, it would be less like that. Um, so DPI is good for how fast you want your mouse to move. Like not just say you play on a low DPI, it would be really slow moving in your inventory, basically. Because you cannot control um, in in game control sensitivity because Minecraft doesn't have the option. But if you got a DPI mouse, then you can actually increase your DPI so you can get things faster. Like say if I wanted to get a bunch of things from the chest for Hunger Games, I go like like that. You know, I can just do that as fast as possible. So I recommend you guys get a mouse that can change the DPI. I have the Razor Death Adder, which is really great. I really recommend it. I've been having it for a couple months now, and yeah, it's great. I don't really want to change it unless it breaks, so yeah. Um, sound settings are up to you, but I have players at 100, just to hear the footsteps and stuff. So make sure you guys have that, and I think those are all the settings I can show you. But I guess I can get into this. This is more of the Hunger Games aspect, so let's change the game with zero. Of course, if you guys don't know, I'm you know this is more like a beginner tutorial, so maybe you didn't know some of this in your experience. But as you know, diamond is the strongest armor. Um, so of course, make sure you have that. So let's get out all the our other armor. All right. So as you see right here, you can see those. That is the durability. 
Leather is absolutely the worst armor you can have in the hunting games. Um, a bow does about like three hearts of damage with this. So chain is I'm I think so let's count the durability bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six durability. Gold is three, four, five, five and a half. Um, so that's actually pretty self-explanatory that it goes from leather. Ooh, let's do that. Leather to gold and then chain. Uh, some people say chain and iron do the same. I'm not exactly sure. In my first PvP video, uh, I said that chain and iron do the same, but I'm not exactly sure now. The durability is 7.5, I'm pretty sure. So iron is a definite yes to have in the Hunger Games. Alright, so... Also, another tip, if you're gonna be like, um... Let's say, let me just get a bunch of, of something. Like, a bunch of, uh, jungle wood. And now we're gonna turn them into planks. Like that. So, um, say it was all in your inventory. Okay. If you want to get out really fast, another way to get a bunch of things out fast at a time is using your left and right click at the same time while holding shift. So it'll go like this. Like, okay, that kind of sucked, though. I'm not good at clicking. <laughs> so this is one, um, one clicking, just a left click. This is the left and right click. In my opinion, it's a lot faster. And it feels more spread out like this. Let's say. Hold on. Say it was like that. Then you can get it really easy like that. So uh, make sure you guys uh, freaking do that when you're trying to get stuff out of chest for home games also. So the bow. This is when it's good to have a PvP text pack because my bow as you see there is a meter it's green yellow red so green when you shoot at a green it shoots the shortest distance but it's good for like spamming it when you really need to but it does the least damage okay so the yellow it's at medium distance you could say like let's go over here this is how far the green can shoot yellow uh, the green can c get there if I just hold it. And red. Oh crap. Red. As you see, the critical particles come out. So that obviously means it does the most damage. And, but that means it's a longer pullback time. So it's not good if you are getting wrecked and you need a bow spam. But it is good for long distance. So flint steel. And, okay, I'll actually explain all the food. So, I will talk about saturation. Saturation is basically, say you're um, t one food bar down. Now, you will see some players eat before they even, like, okay, so, uh, chicken, cook, cooked chicken heals three food bars. Cookies heal one food bar. Cooked fish heals two food bars. Golden carrot heals, I think, three or four. I think it's three three and a half probably. Melon heals one or just a half, I'm not exactly sure. It cooked <coughs> pork chops. Oh where's my steak? I know I have steak. Steak heals four. Steak heals four. And cooked epic heals three and a half I think. Or I mean pork chops. Cooked pork chops. Now golden carrots give you the most saturation. That means if you eat it at one um hungry bar down it will take a longer time for it to like go back down so you'll be saturated for a longer time period steak is the second best um and then i think it's chicken and then oh my goodness Ugh. hold on i'm gonna decline it for now uh let me pause the video real quick guys okay yes we're back um so that is a good thing to know when you're playing the hunting games, and if you're like ch running away from someone and you want to keep running, make sure you eat a high saturated food like a golden carrot or steak. Now flint fishing rod and flint steel. These are very useful in the Hunger Games. Fishing rods can push people back like that. So if you're running, 
you can turn it around and then hit them. And to not use durability, what you do is let's go to game mode zero. So this is using durability as you see. But to not use durability, you would after using it, you go to, you press a button on your hotbar. Just anywhere. And this will not use durability, so that's really useful for the Hunger Games. Now Flint and Steel. Um if you really are in trouble you can just like alright let's let's get a sword. Okay, so actually I wanna explain a hot bar. Make sure your sword is always in the number one slot because whenever you wanna switch your sword really fast, you can just you know it's number one. I always make sure it's the number one slot when I'm fighting or PvPing. And it's really useful. Now you want um these tools to be in a good spot. So I like to have my flint seal a second because if I'm hitting someone and I really want to get a combo, I go like that. Oh, what the hell? What's happened to my flamethrower? Flame. Alright, it's a bit odd, but so uh, I'm hitting flint seal. Hitting. Like, say someone's behind you too, you can go like this. Oh, that was really bad. You can just use this to your advantage. Oh crap, oh my god, they just gave me a heart attack at laundry, oh my god. Whew. But, yeah, that is the Hunger Games aspect. And I think I covered a bunch of things. Correct me if I'm wrong, add anything in the comments if I miss anything very important. I, do, I don't have it all off the top of my head. But, yeah, this is basically my PP tips and tricks video. Um, I'm sorry if it's not good. I hope I can I hope I taught someone at least something. That would be awesome. But if you guys enjoyed it or if it helped you anyway, please leave a like and I hope you have a good day.